play a dwarf buffer dwarf 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 good afternoon everyone lovely to have you back and welcome to this blast from the past we're in the closed beta uh 0.8.37 again and let me set the scene weather sets everything down to one okay unless it's weather immune or gold golds are immune to every everything unless it's hit by another gold and uh, Nilfgaard are not here yet. So today we're going to be looking at dwarfs. Play a dwarf buffer dwarf. Play a dwarf buffer dwarf, right? Now I do think uh, the deck that I'm going to be playing is probably the first ever deck that Swim made uh, popular. I think. Um, play a dwarf buffer dwarf. And for obvious reasons, it's totally overpowered. Uh, four strength Mahakam defender, okay? It's a bronze. Keep on the battlefield at the end of each round. So it will stay on the battlefield for the entirety of the game. And when it transfers from one round to another, it does not lose its buff. So what do we do? We play Mahakam Defenders. We buff a Dwarf. We play a Dwarf, we buff a Dwarf. And we just buff them. You play everything you've got in round one. So you've got carryover of about 90 strength. And then you sit back and laugh while your opponent has to beat it in round two. And then you sit back and laugh while they have to beat it in round three again. You know, so... That's what you're going to see, basically. Uh, Mahakam Defenders and a lot of Dwarfs which uh, combine to be really good with this card. Two of the most important cards that you're probably going to see are Commander's Horn here, which doubles the strength of all non-gold units on your side, then Banish. And you can replay this again with Nature's Gift. Okay, so doubling their strength is huge. That makes a massive impact, which is part of the reason why they've got nerfed so heavily. And also a Hawker Healer. Now, I know it doesn't seem like much. It's very humble. But a two-strength bronze. Add three strength to all other non-gold units on the row. There is no row limit in this game. So placing one of those down suddenly becomes something like an 18, 21 point play or something crazy. You know? Um, so although they're very humble, they, they really allow you to push in round one. Which, with Resilient Dwarfs, is what you need to do. You need to try and win round one. Or at least... Eliminate all the strength from your opponent so they can't beat you round two and they can't beat you round three as well. So they these will just help you win that round, even though you're playing quite low strength plays. These will make up for that with high tempo for a bronze card. So hope you enjoy the game. I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. Nothing like if you have three of the same duex, that's a trio sport. ability. Um Humans trio, I no think place in come, come later. Because we know the Reaver Hunters had trio, but in, in this version, the Reaver Hunters are um, the same as those Nilfgaard guys. Every turn, another one comes out of your deck for free. Um, and they buff each other. The, the real the Reaver Hunters are not the Hunters that you know and love. A minute, so. Okay, we can go all in. Who are we fighting again? Bruva Hoog, so he's going to play in Dwarves as well. It's going to be fun. Okay, so we've got three of them. And that's really it so far, so... I wonder if there's something better than that. That might win me the match, though. We'll leave it like that. Riders were weather immune? Yes. Riders have weather immunity. Um, Double chase! Right, he's going to stay on the board for the entirety of the game. That's a five strength. Maybe a bit more later. I didn't get my guy on that. He's got Bruva Hoog, which is really nice. I couldn't seem to swap her back out, but... Okay, so... Now, I know he probably runs Manticore Venom. And that could probably just kill all of these, I'll be honest. So, I might need to do a little stagger. Not sure. I think if I put three down, it'll just... Let's just give it a go. Who knows? No, he not but he's doing that, okay. What a, that's a point. Boost that up. No, if anyone's got any hoots okay, left. Okay, whoa. Oh, 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 I could use a paint. Just do this. That oh, takes them all from Manticore me. Venom. Not high strength, though, but he hasn't got any much carryover yet. He's just going to win the round. Um, Let us... Boost all of these. Oh, my. We might get Commander's Horn from her. She can pull any non-gold right. special. Okay, let's throw Ethne onto. That's actually better than him. Let's just pick that up. Well, that would create another unit for her. 
humans have no place in Broccolon. Ethnine on Saskia. Oh, you could have done it on Saskia, but I'm really looking for the buff. Buff, I say. It would be insane, though. Yeah, I mean, doing it again, that would be ridiculous. So he's buffing too. I'm going to do this first. The storm is coming. Mandis Horn. Let's no, enjoy smaller. the weather okay. while we still can. Fine. And his last card is... Kispar Entrey. Kispar Entrey or whatever. Okay, um, we'll leave it there. I win the first round. <laughs> and therefore the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of the smartest things they did was actually put in health, uh, strength on leaders. There you go. He's got to compete with 49 strength straight away. We've got a Commander's Horn and that coming. Awesome. Uh, I've got to get this. Yeah, he's basically this Dennis Kramer. One strength to all your dwarfs. Wanna fuck my axe? Uh, he's got some carry over. Coexist. Oh, oh, but oh, Sheldon Skaggs, he doesn't do anything, but. Wanna fuck my axe? He's got a bit of carry over, but my carry over stays Ray, because they can stay for the entirety of the game, so that's really nice. And this is gonna get me commanders. Oh, wait. This doesn't actually pull you whatever you want. Spawns the base copy of the last gold, non gold special card played. So that's that swallow potion, right? Yeah, okay. No, it's not it's not what it normally does now and I got confused there, but I thought I could look from my deck to get anything. What do you think people are gonna do? Now we know what um the plans are as far as I'm aware. We know in homecoming the leader cards are gonna have initiative. They're going to have possibly abilities and passive abilities. Um maybe passive abilities until you use their main ability. I was playing some of the Omega Poggers uh, physically and they had a card Yorveth, Yorveth Meditation and he had a passive and an ability. The passive was every two turns he would spawn a ambush card, trap card okay, on the opponent's side of the board and when you used his main ability which is to spawn three I think or move three units or something like that then he would no longer do his passive and that might be what they do. I think that's a cool idea um, they have a passive until you use their ability. Um, and it kind of comes between the fact that you won't want to use your leader very early because of their passives. Although, maybe, you know, using it very early might be necessary. I don't know. Discovering new closed bay archetypes, that's right. Attack! <laughs> We're going all out in round I one. However, Voltest here, the AI, does a massive tempo play. So we'll probably, we'll probably won't be able to do that good. Um, so I might save most of my particular dwarfs for later with that. Oh, I think I've, I've got two of them. Two of them. Get in the work. So there's one tempo play. And then, and then Geralt usually comes down, but we'll see. Yield and save me some time. Nice. Okie dokie. I can play that for free. No problem. Okay, what do we want to do here? Um, two, four, six, eight. So that's a three strength spy, basically. It would take about another two cards to win this. But I think winning it is quite important. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. That's worth uh, nine. Down to twenty-eight. Not quite. This could get me something. With Everything the all right? Oh, the swallow potion is good. Thirty. I need a bit more. Oh, my little lady. There you go. Okay, so we're, we've gone down three card advantage here, but it doesn't even matter. I don't think because they will stay on the board for the entirety of the game, and they don't lose their buff. So, we just push this round as much as we want. I won, so the opponent goes first. Now, this is a dangerous thing. If this wasn't a human player, you he might not consider wanting to time. do that because they might just Geralt Igni you. And you might want to stagger your things for that particular reason. Um, but because we don't have to worry about that, we'll do that just in case. Okay. He has to go on the siege, so he's not that good. 
believe that does two strep to all of the non gold units on the row, so we'll wait for a little bit, see if we can't get everything all right. Oh, okay. my little egg. Doesn't look like we actually are going to get Commander's Horn unless we get it from that, unfortunately. We were not the ones to start this okay. war. Now, there is also a memory leak in this version, so. Crone Pass. There were a lot of, like, uh. Geralt Siri Pass and all that business. Okay. Let's see what we now, there's a lot of nuance between using these guys to add five and using swallow potions to add like six or eight or whatever. Um, this guy plays a card. Okay. Aye, aye, should as I finish my paint. We only care about these two at the minute. That one as well. Oh my word. What's he doing? And we can pick up one card. Now, what is the card that we're best likely to pick Always up? Always willing, pal. I mean... Oh, wow. Three strokes. Me. Probably worth picking that up again, I think. Okay. Any is one I could Another thing we might not even get him for the last round, so... You can try to win them all, but you won't. Like... I do want to get onto the final round. So although it would be better to play these, I want to experience him trying to beat me. I killed for less. And seeing if he can actually do it. Because then he's got a, a deal with 50 strength next turn. Or 57. Can't win. No, 57 strength next turn. He, he will use fall test on something. I should think. I think anyway. All right, well, he had to compete with 57 strength next turn. Normally, he uses Fall Test. Really weird, that. 